harmonious, stunning, self-contained masterpiece that will brighten up any space. Planters, how to do it right now. My lifelong passion for plants started at an early age where I was raised in an agricultural community attending orchards, fields, and farm animals. Early 2005, I've arrived in Vancouver, I've joined a landscaping company and rediscovered my true calling. My goal is to create a connection between people, their home, and the beauty of nature. My name is Sit Vatsmon, I'm a landscape designer and the owner of The Garden Guru. Thriller, filler, spiller, a foolproof technique I have learned from Steven Silk. The thriller is a plant that's supposed to thrill. It can be any upright plant. It can be an evergreen like the yew, the jasmine, a perennial, and even an annual, paired in harmonious manner with the filler. The filler comes to fill the gap of the container. A beautiful annual such as geranium will do a beautiful job filling the gap between the thriller and the filler. The final component to this successful plant is the spiller, or another word for a trailing plant. The trailer will spill over the border of the container, creating a harmonious look. So if we've used the New Zealand flak as our thriller, we filled it with geraniums, we can use the potato vine to spill over. This is a foolproof technique for 100% success with your planters. Planters are my favorite thing to add to a garden. Get a container and I line it with landscape fabric. I like to use a little bit of river rock so there is ensured drainage. I use potting mix, which is wonderful for planters because I'm using a one gallon centerpiece. This centerpiece is New Zealand flax. I'm gonna use two fillers. One is this beautiful geranium. Geranium loves the sun. The second filler I'm going to use is this beautiful marigold. Super inexpensive and adds so much color. So in between the geraniums, four of these will work and make sure the layering is proportionate and harmonious. It's important. Three spillers and one low plant. For the spillers, I have chose Verbenia in three tones, San Vitalia in yellow, and Setcrisia in the hot pink. For the planter right now, I chose blossoming plants. But when I'm shopping at the nursery, I like to buy my plants with no flowers at all. So when I come home, they look fresh and those flowers will need to be deadheaded in a couple of days. There is a combination for every exposure, climate and location. Go and make one today. thriller, filler, trailer, and have one last thing I wanna add, and that's extreme fragrance. This cute little alyssum has an explosion of smell. It's spectacular. Don't forget, when this is all done, to water. Every day for about a week, and then depending on your climate.